If you want to know why Microsoft is hiring a principal program manager nuclear technology, then stick around. Picture yourself as the operational manager of a data center, someone who truly comprehends the engine that drives the business. Now, if you're in the realm of a service-oriented business like this, your primary focus is to secure access to economical and reliable electricity. Data centers can be small and very large, and there are many that require heavy power inputs, reaching up to hundreds of megawatts. So let's examine how the world, as we are shaping it, is going to influence the choices ahead for Microsoft, Google, and all the other high-tech data-oriented businesses. Western countries are trying to decarbonize their grids using solar and wind. In Europe, this is even mandated by the EU. They expect all their member countries to produce 42.5% electricity by 2030 using renewables. But most of us know that electricity is only a part of the problem. But at the same time, we must not forget that electricity is a very important part of the economy. So despite this knowledge, we started building tens of gigawatts of offshore wind and we have helped people to put solar panels on their roof by giving them subsidies. Now Germany went all out. They said we dislike nuclear, we want to do this Energiewende which basically was the atom exit, uh, exit from nuclear power. So they went gangbusters. So that's basically which landed us in these problems that we're in right now. So the issue here is that the politicians and the energy experts failed to ask a couple of fundamental questions. How can we build an energy system that ensures supply for all without having to contend with all these weather mood swings and rising prices and everything? How can we keep it as stable as possible? While people were trying to answer these questions, everybody assumed that nuclear was just going to be too expensive. That assumption was based on the EPR, the four European pressurized water reactors that we were building in Europe at the time. Now, Okiluoto is finished. And the irony is that Okiluoto is actually helping Finland to keep their prices relatively steady. And they always have sufficient production capability. Unfortunately, many politicians and energy experts still have not had their eyes open to these realities. So now we are some five years into this EU transition adventure and everybody is waking up. The Germans are a little bit late to the party, but I even think that they still need another two, maybe three years before they wake up, but they will wake up eventually. The trouble is that before they will wake up, industry is going to leave Germany. So to shield themselves from these outside influences, what many of these industries are now contemplating is actually getting small modular reactors to deliver the power directly to them without needing an attachment to the big grid and being dependent on windmills and solar panels and whatever they want to build. Because the trouble is, this electricity system that we are building right now is not only not dependable, but it's also very expensive. So because it's very expensive, these industries, they simply see the light. They say, okay, listen, a nuclear power plant might be relatively expensive to build, but once it's built, it actually delivers power when we need it, and it delivers power at the cost that we agreed upon. And it stays that way. For those who don't know, small modular reactors are basically smaller variants of the reactors that are in use today or have been used in the past. Now, some of them are light water reactors, which is the easiest thing that we can build right now because we have hundreds of light water reactors in operation today. The only thing that's different about them is that they are scaled down. They're, they're cheaper to build slightly more expensive to operate, but the price is still good enough for these industries, these manufacturing companies, these data centers. So they say, listen, if we can get the electricity at that price, uh, building this, uh, this nuclear power plant is, is a good idea. So, and that's the reason why Microsoft is right now looking for a program manager to do nuclear technology. Now what you see is that it's going to become more and more a kind of business to business platform where a large group of industrial users have a 
uh, deal with a utility that says, okay, we are going to build our small modular reactors right next to your uh, industrial park. And we are going to ensure that you have your own grid in which you can use our electricity to produce whatever goods you need to produce. And this is the future because whether we like it or not, wind and solar technologies are being rolled out across the entire world. And the issue is that manufacturing and industry simply can't handle the, the capriciousness of these machines. That's why Microsoft is right now hiring a principal program manager nuclear technologies. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.